Before I mic myself up, I'm gonna show you what it's like to get the seatbelt on in this two-door car. Okay, guys, I am in the Opel Corsa GSI. Now, don't get too excited because I know you're thinking 80s record, GSI, like a cadet GSI. Well, this is not the same, okay? And Opel doesn't want it to be. In fact, Opel's trying to distance the GSI badge from those 80s ones, and it is clear, let me tell you, because this 1.4 liter turbocharged petrol engine gives you just 110 kilowatts of power and 220 newton meters of torque. Boo! I don't want to be a total about it. Because once you've sort of gotten up to a bit of a better speed, like out of first gear, you know, and into second and third, you start having a little bit more fun. It's not going to take you 8.9 seconds to get from zero to 100 kilometers per hour. So that doesn't scream sport and performance to me. I don't know if it does for you. Maybe back to the 80s, you know? started. Also, thankfully, up its sleeve <laughs> is the OPC chassis. And that really, 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 really helps in terms of giving it a more sort of obviously nimble and hell of a stiff ride. Guys, yeah, that is for me. It's sort of the thing that makes it the most engaging drive and you know you can throw this thing into corners and she whiskers you are gonna stick like shit okay you can really really have a fun dynamic drive in it but and here's my problem with the car it's not an everyday car for me I can't handle the stiff very firm ride because one, I need a sports bra. Two, if I've got even a slight headache slash hangover, jokes, never drive on a hangover because it's illegal. Um, it just, my head, like my teeth chatter and I'm like, oh, oh, and I'm like, oh, that's hard, that's hardcore. I can't, I can't deal with the hard firm ride. But for others, that will be the appeal. <laughs> and then because when you compare it to something like the Volkswagen Polo GTI, which okay is more expensive but you're getting performance figures from that two liter engine of you know 147 kilowatts and 320 newton meters of torque plus it's comfortable you know you can drive that every day so you can have a little bit of fun but then not you know i don't know tough call guys tough call but the Corsa GSI at 365,900 rand has a lot more spec than the others do Okay, you've got a heated steering wheel, for goodness sakes. Can you bloody well cope? I can't. Also, heated seats, always lovely for that wintry cold bum. Do you know, then you've got these bucket seats that are, I think, awesome. They look incredible. It makes it hella sporty in here. It also, I mean, they're quite comfortable, you know, especially with that firm ride, you need some touch of cushioning. Ah, gone drop. Okay, here's a little bit of advice, and it's a quick one. It's about straddling, okay? Not what you're thinking. Straddling lanes, okay? Um, pick a lane, people, pick a lane. And you know why it bothers me the most, I think, is because it's often because someone is so distracted that they don't even know, because there's no reason for you to be driving in the middle of the lane, take, like hogging up the road. So it means you're on your cell phone, more than likely, or just doing something that can create an accident. So guys, again, pick a lane, stick to it, we'll be happy. So a cool campaign that Opel did with this car is that they launched the most expensive sneakers in the world, okay? And they're locally made, they're South African. Obviously, when you get them, you get the car, okay? It's one of those, but I like it. I like the sort of ingenuity, ingenuity, ingenuity. Word. The thing is, okay, so would you want to wear these bright yellow tackies with the badge GSI on for what it means now? Probably not. So you're going to hope that when you're wearing them, people are in that nostalgic mode and they're like, hmm, GSI, remember that cadet. Do you know? But quite a fun little thing that was. Take my hand, we'll make it, I swear. 